Dragon's Dogma 2 is a game with a lot of strong classes that allow us players to live out a power fantasy on the battlefield. But there is one vocation which stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that is the Thief vocation. Thieves have all of the benefits of a high damage dealing class with almost none of the drawbacks. They're super fast, they deal insane damage, they have great evasive maneuvers, including an automatic dodge built into their master ability, they have two master abilities too, while most classes only have one, though to be fair, the second ability is kind of a joke slash meme. And they're super easy to build. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an unstoppable thief build in Dragon's Dogma 2. We'll walk through the best abilities and augments, gear you should get, and much more. So buckle up, grab some iced coffee, and let's dive into the build guide. Skull Splitter is the go-to move for thieves that will get you through most situations. You basically do a spinning blade front flip that deals massive damage. For most basic enemies in this game, this is a one-shot. And for bosses, this will shred through their health bars like butter. The best part is this is one of the first abilities you can unlock, and it works well for the whole game. The only drawback is that this attack will bounce off of armored enemies like Rock Saurians and Armored Cyclops. Rock Saurians in particular are kind of an Achilles heel for thieves, but if you're struggling, try using Twin Fangs to pin them down whenever their underside is exposed. This will make short work of them. Powder Blast is another great ability in the Thief Kit. This allows you to place a sticky grenade anywhere you'd like and then detonate it at will. It's kind of hilarious that there are grenades in this fantasy game, and these bad boys will absolutely wreck griffins and other enemies that are weak to fire. One of the only downsides for thieves is that they can't parry attacks. Hang on a second. Oh wait, thieves can not only parry, but they can get an instant one-hit kill with successful parries when you unlock the easy kill ability. This is just broken. Goblins and humanoids will pose no threat to the Arisen when you hit them with that parry god. These abilities will just buff you out like no other. And if you're looking for an IRL buff, then you gotta try G Fuel, the premier energy drink for gamers and the sponsor of today's video. G Fuel is my go-to drink for getting game-changing clean energy because it has zero sugar, zero crash, and zero jitters. Plus, it tastes amazing with over 50 great flavors to choose from. I've been having a lot of late nights with the launch of Dragon's Dogma 2, and I've been reaching for the shiny splash blueberry lemonade to pull me through. Hype Sauce is also one of my go-to flavors. Think of what you could accomplish with all that extra energy. You could hit the gym and get shredded, start that business you've been thinking about, or maybe just keep playing Dragon's Dogma 2. The choice is yours, and G Fuel is that cheat code you need to take it to the next level. So what are you waiting for? Click on my link in the description and use promo code BIGDAN for 20% off your order at G Fuel. That's promo code BIGDAN for 20% off your order at G Fuel. Draw and Quarter is another insane ability in the Thief arsenal. This allows you to perform an insanely high damage single shot attack when clinging to an enemy. This is a great way to obliterate the HP bar of boss type enemies in particular. But the most busted ability of all has to be Formless Faint, one of the master abilities for the Thief vocation. Formless Faint is basically sicko mode for thieves buffing movement speed, and more importantly, activating an automatic dodge feature that allows you to completely evade incoming attacks with no input from the player whatsoever. With Formless Faint, you can tear through a mob of enemies in seconds and take zero damage, even if you're bad at the game. It's basically turning on easy mode. And the crazy part is this ability barely drains any stamina whenever you activate it. To unlock Formless Faint, you just need to do the Nameless Village main quest, make your way to the underground hideout, and speak with a character named Srawl. There are some other pretty good abilities too, like a smoke screen that AoE stuns enemies, the Sub-Zero get over here move, the Shadow Veil invisibility cloak, and the concussive leap. But the other abilities are just stronger, so I barely use these ones. The second Meister ability is kind of a troll ability. You receive it from an NPC named Flawed the Fraud, and it deals AoE explosion damage to both the enemies and you. So yeah, it's not really a real master ability. Thieves have a decent set of core skills too. Scarlet Kisses is basically just super fast auto attacks. Controlled Fall lets you reduce fall damage by hitting jump before you land. Bump and Run has a low chance to rob enemies when attacking them. And Footpad allows you to wall eject like Assassin's Creed. 
For thief augments, your best options are subtlety, vigor, and verve. Subtlety reduces your chance of getting targeted by enemies, which is important because it's easy to get stunlocked and overwhelmed unless you're parrying or in formless faint mode. Vigor reduces stamina costs when clinging to or pinning down enemies, and Verve augments strength, which will boost your raw damage. But thief abilities are only one piece of the puzzle. So let's bring this build together with our gear. For weapons, your best in slot option is the Frame A Blades. These things sport an insane 666 strength when upgraded to rank 3, which is the best dagger set you can get until the post game. You can pick these up from the vendor at the Volcanic Island Camp. Side note, this location basically has all of the best in slot gear for every vocation until you reach the post game. The best post game options for Thief are the Heaven's Key and Dragon's Vein daggers. The first one can be purchased from Roderick's Smithy, and the latter can be bought from the Dragon Forged. For Drip, you'll want to go with the Bestial Boon armor, which has 474 base defense, 254 magic defense, and 68 knockdown resistance. For cloaks, you could pretty much wear whatever sports the highest drip, since most of the base stats are the same. These are mostly cosmetic items. Now that we've brought the whole build together, let's take a look at the thief in action. I dare say there'd be no harm in using this. Are you sure about that? Griffin descends. We have no means of exploiting it. Or enemies weak. I absolutely love playing as a thief in this game. It's not my favorite playstyle, but the super fast, high damage, god in the flesh on the battlefield type beat is incredibly fun. So there you have it. Everything you need to know to make the most cracked out thief in Dragon's Dogma 2. Have fun tearing through enemies like tissue paper. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Dragon's Dogma and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. And don't forget to click on the link in the description and use code BIGDAN for 20% off your next order at G Fuel. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.